sand. Sand as far as the eye can see. A single grain of sand. Not the desert or the dune, but the eye can see it more easily. And in seeing it, we can better understand this vastness. With this in mind, we tell our story. It started out with the idea of bees. And you have an, Amer uh, you know, an expression in English, um, a beekeeper. Well, what about a person who keeps ants? Well, we don't have such a person. But I thought it would be a good name, the ant keeper. It would be provocative. However, they, they're still showing this film down in Mexico. And some museum and they like it but it's its name is La Guardia de las Hormigas the keeper of the ants I was having a discussion with an official at the Lutheran Church in America in New York um, and we're talking about uh, uh, divine creation, God's creation, what have you. And either he or I, I think he came up and said, and, and what are we compared with our creator? We're like little ants. And the idea of human beings being like little ants. And there are a lot of good parallels. I mean, between an organized human society and an organized ant society, which is very highly organized. And they, um, and um, I thought it would be a way for humans to identify themselves in their helplessness, in their needfulness, in their, should we say, sinful state or the human condition. I didn't know the film was controversial. It wasn't controversial at all in the way parable was. Or maybe I was so used to controversy, <laughs> I didn't realize that that there were these objections. I know that a lot of the critiques hit a note with certain people. I mean, they uh, there were critics who were supposed to criticize what they saw, but they said, "Well, I don't like it because I don't like bugs." They give me the creeps. It's about bugs. I don't like bugs. The scenes with the ants, which are at least 50% of the picture, were shot and with great difficulty by Robert Crandall at his studio in El Tadina, California. Other shots were made, all made in Mexico. A few were made in a studio in Mexico City. Bruja's domain with the Lavic Rock was shot in um, outside of Mexico City, an area, volcanic area called El Pedregal. I directed those girls, <laughs> the four angels, three angels, whatever it is. They were wonderful girls. I loved the faces that I could get down there, those marvelous touch of Aztec or touch of what, those faces, uh, the women, and, and the El Ijo and the, and the, and the, uh, uh, the gardener. Crandall had this specially built, especially built macro cinema equipment. It was, he was doing things, photographing insects 
Nobody in the world was doing as well. Robert Crandall came to the attention of film critics with the Walt Disney feature film, which played a lot of theaters and got great reviews back in the 50s. And it was called The Living Desert. And what was the most famous was um, his shooting the mating dance of the scorpion. Tangent to the center of the ring, lock those claws, lift that sting. Three legs up and the, the red and black ants, we have the war. And I think it's a great metaphor for human warfare. And then we follow it by the influence of Elio, the son, who comes and sacrifices himself for the ants. And that brings the red ants and the black ants together.